today we are going to learn about the physical quantities distance and displacement let us start with a simple example suppose you have to go to your school from your house and you go straight towards your uh, towards the school and the distance covered by you will be let it be 2 km right now the same time your brother also starts towards the school but he first moves to his friend's house he goes to his friend's house right which is another 1 km from the house and then he goes towards the school now let the distance be 1 km and 1.5 km now in the case 1 where you have started from your house and you went directly to the school the distance covered by you is 2 km the starting point is your house and the final point is school your brother also started and but he first went to his friend's house now and then he went to the school in second case what is happening the total distance travel will be 1 plus 1.5 5 km so that will be 2.5 km right now what what we are going to see here what is happening here the straight line between your house and the school the distance covered is 2 km and the other way could be 1 km plus 1.5 km even you can think of going to this uh, uh, you can move to some other place and come to your school so distance you can cover in any way right now just consider on these two examples right so the distance between point a and b can be covered in any way either you can go directly or you can go to some other place and then move to the school so what we are going to see here in the first case 2 km is the shortest distance between the point a and b so 2 km is the displacement this we call it as displacement and any other path if we take to read to move between the points a and b can be taken as the distance so this displacement is the shortest distance between any two given point just remember this displacement is the shortest distance between any two given points and distance is just a length of the path it could be anything one this is just an example you can move to any other shop and then come to the school so distance can be anything right now one more example we can see suppose we talk about a circular path let the radius of this path be uh, 7 meter okay let the radius i have taken as 7 meter now suppose i want to move from this point a to point b point b along this circumference that is the length of the track or the length of the path so mathematically we know that what will be the circumference in this case in this case circumference will be 2 pi r that is 2 into 22 by 7 into what is the radius 7 so the distance will be 44 or the this <coughs> length of the track will be 44 meter now we'll see just one simple example suppose you want to move from point a to point b so when you move along the track you move along the track then the distance traveled in that case will be simply half of the total track that is half into 44 meter that is 22 meter so distance is 22 meter now if i want to calculate dis displacement in this case if i want to calculate displacement in this case displacement is the shortest distance so how can we move to what is the shortest straight line joining these two points will be the shortest distance once again i am repeating the straight line joining the two points initial point and final point is the displacement now in that case it will be 7 meter plus 7 meter so the displacement in this case is 14 meter okay now suppose suppose i just in another example if i take i just take one complete round in this if one complete round what will be the distance traveled so we have already complete uh, calculated it in one complete round you will be moving along this circumference and that will be 2 pi r so that will be 44 meter 
but what about the displacement in this case now in this case this is the distance travel right 44 meter is the distance travel so what about the displacement when you move towards the entire circle so just see that what is the final point starting point is a and when you move take a complete round and come back to the same point then what is the distance between or what is the final point it is again a so the distance the shortest distance you cannot calculate so you are reaching the same point again so in that case displacement will be zero right initial point and final point both are same so displacement will be zero so if you start from a point take any distance you suppose you start from this corner of the page you travel this way along the length and the breadth and come back to the same point your displacement will be zero but your distance will be the perimeter of the this perimeter of this page now one more simple example you started from this point a okay you moved along a point b then again you moved along another point c let this length be uh, for example 3 meter right and this length let it be 4 meter so what is the distance travel between the point a and c distance travel between the point a and c will be simply 4 plus 3 meter and that is 7 meter but what about the displacement what did i say the shortest distance the straight line joining the points initial and final point so initial point is a and final point is c so when you join this you get the hypotenuse so according to the Pythagoras theorem the displacement will be 3 square plus 4 square and that will be 25 so in this way you have seen that what is distance distance is nothing but the length of the path covered and displacement is the shortest distance displacement is the shortest distance distance is is a scalar quantity we are not associating direction with it and displacement is the vector quantity you cannot move two kilometer in this direction to reach to your school so it is a vector quantity displacement is the vector quantity now distance cannot be zero once when the two points are given you have some distance travel but displacement if you displacement can be zero if you go back to in this case we have seen the distance travel is 44 but displacement is zero so displacement can be zero so hope it is this topic is clear to you all thank you